Hello everyone, Ronis with it and after an industry I'm going to be showing you how to retouch male portraits in Photoshop. So I think I've done only one story about how to retouch male portraits in Photoshop and this is going to be a second one and you're going to be learning everything about how to retouch male portraits. So one thing you should know, unlike female portraits whereby I want to bring out the beauty uh, for male portraits, you have to deal with uh, the masculine features in uh, the portrait. So, if at all someone or a male has those smile lines and maybe those little little wrinkles, you should uh, leave them because they tend to define more the male, the male people or the men. So basically that is what you have to take into consideration and about the retouching you shouldn't do so much. So I think I've done enough for the talking. So let's retouch this very image. This is my own image and it was taken by a model I was shooting. So I'm going to first of all clean up the blemishes in this image. So I'm going to create a, a background, a duplicate from the background layer because I want to work with a new field layer. I'm just simply going to hit Ctrl Command J on the keyboard and I'm going to get my patch tool and look for uh, those blemishes select and now drag to a clean area just like that so I'm basically trying to uh, clean up uh, those tiny blemishes from this very image and when I'm done doing so we are going to go straight into a skin retouching so and I don't want this to be a long one like my usual tutorial so I think uh, we are almost done removing the blemishes I think uh, the remaining blemishes are going to be dealt away with uh, the mixer brush tool so I'm going to uh, merge these two layers by just simply coming right here to layers and merge visible or you can simply hit shift command e on the keyboard to merge them and now i'm just going to play my 16-bit action and for those interested in how to create your own actions i'm going to link for you a video right above here so that you can learn how to create your own actions and the difference between an 8-bit and a 16-bit action for a skin retouching so i'm basically going to uh, come under my actions and since uh, this is a 16-bit image. I'm going to play my 16-bit action and I'm just going to come and play it. So what you should know, remember for a male portrait, you want to retain so much uh, detail in the image. So meaning we are going to be going uh, with this Gaussian blur. So you have to move it up to a point. And I know I have always sung this uh, song in almost all my tutorials. So you have to move it up to a point when uh, these textures are starting uh, to get lost out of the image. I think at around 8 uh, I've lost out on the textures from this image. I think let me go with around 9. So 9 I've lost out on the textures from the image. I'm going to simply hit OK and my action is going to, uh, to finish playing. So I think uh, this is so dark, so I'm just going to double click right here. I'm just going to brighten it up slightly. Then I'm going to come under the brushes and get right click and come to my mixer brush tool. Settings, clean brush. And select the second option because we want the brush to, to be cleaned every time uh, we are blending or even out the skin tones. The wetness, I'm going to be using a wetness of around 9%. At retain detail, load 75, mix 90, flow 100, and sample alias is not checked. And I'm going to select the low frequency layer. I'm just going to start blending or evening out the skin tones on uh, this portrait of uh, myself. And as I'm doing this, I'm going to be uh, blending the mid tones alone, uh, the highlights and the shadows. And as you're retouching these male portraits, make sure you don't do uh, too much just uh, do something that is uh, really subtle and you don't go like really extreme 
and as you're seeing I'm just uh, brushing uh, through and rushing through because I don't I don't want to uh, get rid of uh, most of uh, the features uh, even uh, the skin texture I'm just going to uh, rush uh, through so let me first turn this off to see the progress before after before after so I'm going to uh, continue evening out on the skin tones just like that using uh, the mixer brush tool and when we are done uh, blending or evening out the skin tones in this image we are going to be applying a second uh, method that is using the lasso tool to uh, fine tune the textures like I said you don't have to overuse the mixer brush tool because uh, for male portraits most of the times uh, we, our features are really determined uh, sorry defined and uh, they are really exposed and we don't have to deal so much with uh, fixing makeup and over blending uh, a particular area for a long time to even out skin tones or colors in a particular image and as you can see I think we are almost done blending so let's just blend slightly on the neck area just like that and uh, when we are done doing so we are going to uh, do some little bit of blending on uh, the hand too and the way I'm blending I'm just blending the mid tones along the highlights and the shadows and in order to decrease or increase on the size of the mixer brush tool I'm basically using the brackets uh, on the keyboard just right uh, after the P key P for pen on the keyboard so basically that is what I'm doing I'm just evening out uh, the tones in the image so let me turn off the black and white to see what I have done so far for uh, this very image and like you guys usually ask me is it necessary to always use a black and white layer I always say I would recommend it but you can as well work without it like if at all you can easily notice uh, where to all the areas you want to even uh, the skin tones so let's see a before and after before after before after we still have the facial structures and uh, these lines are still there so what I'm going to do I'm going to delete the black and white and come and get my lasso tool and after getting the lasso tool I'm going to come and select the low frequency layer and now feathering is 22 pixels and ant aliases are checked or marked I'm going to zoom in slightly I'm going to start making a selection on the skin area just like that and I'm just going to uh, fine tune the image just so come to filter and come to blind come to gush and blur and when you do that you'll have your previous radius so just continue moving this in front up to a point when you feel like are you getting the right uh, skin texture in the image so I think right there we are okay and now we're going to be applying this effect onto uh, the overall image I know the image uh, really looks uh, sharp and I use the Canon 6D and an 85mm lens at aperture 7.1 for this image so I'm going to simply uh, make selections and right click and apply the effect of the Gaussian blur onto the rest of uh, the skin just like that so just do a less for male portraits if at all uh, you want to achieve the best remember we want our features to be really prominent uh, and emphasized in uh, these male portraits so I'm going to zoom in and now apply the effect just on the nose area so I'm simply right clicking and applying the Gaussian blur effect onto uh, particular areas of uh, the skin in question so we are just going to apply the effect right there and we are going to be good to go uh, straight into uh, the color grading process of uh, this very image so you can see the before and after before after we just got rid of the blotchiness or the patches uh, in this very uh, portrait so what I would love to do I'm going to close this frequency passion group and I'm going to uh, now 
create a stamp visible layer by hitting shift alternate command e on the keyboard and duplicate that layer by hitting ctrl or command j and i'm going to come to filter and come to the camera filter so when i come to the camera filter i'm going to go straight uh, down to my calibration option and as usual i'm going to take down, down my saturation of the red and I'm also going to do the same for the green and uh, same for the blue primary uh, for this very portrait. So I'm just going to go down to around negative 10. And as you can see, I've gotten rid of uh, the yellow tones uh, in the image and I'm getting close to my original skin tones. And after that, I'm going to come to selective, uh, rather HSL or the hue and saturation uh, plus luminance and i'm just going to uh, turn down the luminance so luminance is basically the lightness or darkness of a particular color so i'm just going to turn down the luminance just like that and i'm going to come to uh, the hues and i'm going to uh, knock up uh, the oranges just a little bit uh, towards uh, the yellows just like that and you can see the before and after so far for uh, this very image so what we are, are going to do right now remember we are not done uh, with the color grading of this very image we are simply going to go straight into the eye whitening just to uh, whiten the eyes slightly so i'm going to come adjustment brush tool and how to set it i'm, I'm going to simply Turn down the temperatures because I don't get rid of the warm tones or the yellows in the eyes. But for male portraits, always make sure you uh, turn it down slightly because you don't want uh, the eyes to pop so much. Then you, you're just going to go with around 66 uh, in the tint and uh, the highlights just slightly for male portraits, just two. And right there are two highlights are two and whites are two the rest at zero and saturation is just going to go slightly uh, with around negative uh, 56 and now we're going to start painting over uh, the eye to do the whitening on the eye area just like that and now come to this side and just do some little bit of uh, eye whitening. Remember after here we're going to do some more color grading uh, in Photoshop. So color grading shouldn't be limited to only one uh, kind of technique. You have to combine various techniques to uh, achieve uh, the best or the best color grading or the best colors from uh, your images. So I think we are done doing that. And now I'm going to simply hit OK open the image so you can see the before and after for the color grading so far i'm going to come to the selective color and we are going to uh, intensify on the blacks in the image and you can see the difference it is already making you can see a before and after now uh, we are going to come to the yellows and you're just going to turn uh, the yellows just to around negative Let's go with around negative uh, 10 for this image. And after doing so, I feel like the image is now turning to be really warm. So I'm going to come to the reds. I'm just going to reduce on the amount of uh, yellows in the reds, just like that. And when I, I'm done doing so, I'm going to call up this image even more. So I'm going to come to the calling filter or photo filter and come to calling filter and i'm just going to uh, cool down the image slightly i think three can do then add a little bit of contrast to the image so i'm going to come brightness and contrast and just pump up my contrast just like that i think uh, that is too much so i'm going to go with around eight but uh, the contrast has really warmed up the image even more uh, so i'm going to turn up and cool it down just like that so i think uh, we are done uh, doing the skin retouching and color grading so let's see a before and after for this image so this was the image initially before and after before after before after 
And this is how you can retouch a male portrait in future if at all you have a shoot for a male model. And this is all for today, today's tutorial. Ronix from Ronix Photography. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in yet another tutorial on this channel. Don't forget to keep practicing and keep creating.